Call Halal Yim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rukal Kadash, devil honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who rule well, who taught us the truth, the trailblazers of all Israel, the men here on earth today, ushering in the kingdom of heaven and teaching us, you know, how to do it. <laughs> you know, shalom to the fellow laborers out there, the Akim out there presenting the, their bodies as a, as a living sacrifice, all right, throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, shalom to the very few sisters that do listen to us as well. This is the brother Yar Meyer from the Great Millstone Chicago camp, basically coming to you with, with another lesson. And this lesson, you know, is concerning the brothers in the faith. You know, most of my videos are really, you know, exhortation videos to the Akim that's of the fold, you know, for the most part. But um, something that was on my mind yesterday that uh, enduring to the end. All right, because that's what we were put here to do. Lord willing, we be the elect. And we take the nooks and crannies that come with it, man. All right, whatever it may be, brother. There's things, you know, going on with you, yourself, your body, your social life, your fucking family life, your job life. Hey, your dealings even with the brotherhood, you know. You might have a discrepancy or some shit like that or whatever it may be. Whatever you deal with, all right, it's all from me. How about Shimmy How was shy? And uh, it's just proving you to be the man of the Lord because we're going to be tested by these scriptures, man. You say you got faith, the Lord gonna give you that. He gonna he gonna he gonna make you prove that. You know, you say you know how to turn the other cheek, which was which is a scripture widely bootlegged amongst Christianity, but it really goes into the the dealings in the brotherhood because we have, you know, things that happen in the brotherhood where you would, would be tested with turning the other cheek. Or would you buck up or would you buck out you know, bug out. Whether you could, you know, be humble. The Lord will test you on that. Whether it's time to speak when you knew some shit was off, the Lord will test you on that. Whatever it may be, you know, uh, through 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 all the things that you tested with and proved with as, as, as a man of the Lord, you have to show and prove. But it all goes into enduring to the end, man, navigating throughout this present evil world, this world full of wickedness. You know, you, you tried on all these things. But nevertheless, it's because we want that crown of righteousness, man. We want that glory. All right? And we want to get, get, get from under the hand of this fucking pe Fucking, this, this Esau, man. We want to get from under his hand, man. And we want dominion, man. And we want him under our foot. All right? So I'm going to get into it, man. The lesson is about enduring, man. This is saying Matthew 24 and verse 12. It says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And we're seeing that. And we're going to see it on a mass scale, man, in a minute, man. When these EMPs come, all right, when it ain't no food, all right, when um, all the lights out, you know, when it's race rise, when it's famines, when it, when, when, it, when Flavor Flay song going to come for real, that 911 is a joke, all right? We're going to see the love of many wax cold, all right? And if we down here in that time doing these great atrocities, are you going to be able to keep order? Are you going to be able to keep your composure? You know, brothers trip and slip over the most dumbest shit that, that don't even matter right now. But when that great time come, when you have the patience and the endurance, the answer should be yes, because you believe in the scriptures. The scriptures tell us wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of their times. But you can't get weak, man, if you want the Lord to steady increase this wisdom and knowledge. Because these times is coming up are cold, man. All right, verse 14, it says, verse 13, it says, And he that shall endure to the end, the shame shall be saved. All right? And that's what we're looking for. We're looking to endure to the end, man. That's that's the that's the game, all right? We ain't falling out. We ain't taking breaks. We ain't getting sleepy, you know? We would sit here as the elect men of Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shah, to endure to the end. We've been given the roadmap to salvation through this chaos and this calamity. So we got to utilize these tools, all right? We can't hold back any punches in this fight, all right? We got to utilize every tool we have as men of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, so that us, you know, being those men, Lord willing, can make it, all right? And take our families, our households with us. Not our families. Your families are wicked, man. Your household, all right? This is um, Hebrews 10. In uh, verse um, 36, it says, For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of Yahweh, and that's what we are down here doing, but we got to do it to the end, 
ye might receive the promise for yet a little while and he shall come and will co and Shalaki it said for yet a little while and he that shall come will come and will not tarry all right this is the book of hebrews man it said for in a little while he shall come and not tarry you got to understand at, at the at the first chapter of this book was the beginning of the end of days right now we're at the end of the end of days all right and and to prove that we got the spirit poured upon us pursuing the, uh what's that revelation the 11th chapter all right, I always start with that. That wisdom of Solomon and five and one people. Oh, oh, what are you out here for? What are you protesting? Get it. Wisdom of Solomon five and one. That's what we out here doing, man. There's two sticks uh, are being put back together on one plank. We got the, the breath of life. Yahweh Shai is coming back, man. We got the chip out here. The RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. The Karagma. All right, the Kassai stigma. All right, it's not an embargo. It's not Christianity. It's not um, what's that BS in the black conscious community? Protrons, neutrons, electrons. That's stupidity, man. The mark of the beast is the RFID chip, and it's here, and it's here because the the, the highest is beginning to visit the earth, which he made, as it said in Second Ezra, and he put the prophets out there. All right, he says, surely the Lord doing nothing except he reveal his secrets to whom and serve his service to prophets, man. All right, this is prophecy. That our Lord is coming back, man. Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, For yet a little while, and he will come and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. All right. So if any man draw back, the, the, the Lord will, won't have any pleasure in you, man. And it tells you in the book of Revelations, we were created for his pleasure. So if you ain't creating and pleasing and doing the things that please the most high, man, you know, or, or aspiring to do the work of the Lord to the best of your ability, man, getting off your ass and, uh, you know, showing your faith and your fear, like like the brother Ritaza one, you say, you know, work hand in hand, you know, the faith and the fear. Why would the Lord even have mercy on you, man? Our righteousness are filthy rags already, man. We should be doing extra, man. We are not of them that draw back, man. This this is not fallout season, man. This is not walkout season, man. You know, you got all these bitch ass niggas that fell out, walked into the sun, went and tried to start a BS camp like ITR, didn't work. <laughs> you know, where are they at? Nowhere, man. And a host of other motherfuckers, you know, that we know. But that was just, you know, going into that Sirach when you coming out into the fear of the Lord, man. Let me read that, man. Because, you know, this this is what happened. Man, I turned right to it. This is what happened to guys like like guys like ITR or dudes that come into the true fake and the funk. All right, and these are men I actually know personally, man. All right, who, who kicked it with them every day, did all type of shit with them, man. Carnal shit, spiritual things, whatever, man. You know, but this is not about who you like or who you cool with. This is about doing the work of your how about shimmy how shine, making it out this place. And I'm just bringing this out because... It's people falling out this truth, man. It's people walking out this truth. This shit is scary, man. You know? That's why we working in fear and trembling. Scripture said, righteous man shall scarcely be saved. How much more the ungodly and the sinner, man? All right. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus 1 and verse 30. It says, exalt not thyself, lest thy fall, and bring dishonor upon thy soul, and so yet how Discover thy secrets and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation, because thou camest not in truth to the fear of Yahweh, but thy heart is full of deceit, man. So you can't come to this thing pump faking. You can't come to this thing half doing it. You can't come to this thing if you wasn't chosen or elected for this thing, man. Because Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah will bring you down in the midst of the congregation, man, and make a fucking joke out of you, man, and in, 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 in a public assembly, man. The Lord is going to judge these fucking niggas out here, man. Straight up, man. These fake-ass niggas in Israel, man. All right? But to us, man, it's giving it to us to endure, man. You know, it's not time to... Um, I'm going to get it. It's not time to drop the plow, man. Count the costs. Do the work. That's it, man. Hopefully, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah have mercy. And you was elected. This is St. Luke 9 and verse 
62. It says, And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man, having put forth his hand to the plow, and look it back, is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. So we here, man. Our hands on the plow. We digging. We not putting it up, man. A ain't no looking back, man. Hey, we, we have a reward, man. Hey, we shining as lights in the midst of this perverse generation, man. And, and not only all these prophecies are coming to pass, but that alone, man, to have this spirit, man, in the midst of all this fucking folly that's going on and all this wickedness and all this madness, man. We fighting the, the, the hardest fight it ever is to fight, man. We got to endure and gird up, man. This is Philippians 2 and 14. It says, Do all things without mumbling and disputings, that ye may be blameless and harmless sons of Yahweh without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation. So like in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as lights in the world, holding forth the word of life that, that I may rejoice in the day of Yahweh Shai, that I have not run in vain, neither have I labored, neither labored in vain. And all the brothers, man, and all the apostles and all the elders, man, we ain't laboring in vain, man. Hey, the scripture says in the book of Hebrews, the Lord is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love, man. All right, this is our labor of love, and it's also our reasonable service, man. Who wouldn't want to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? Uh, Job 8 and 8, man, going back to the search of our fathers, man. This is what our fathers did, man. You niggas be happy as hell to get out here and celebrate the so-called white man, Esau, uh, BS holidays, man, whole lot of days, Christmas, the wickedness, man, Thanksgiving, wickedness, man, straight wickedness, man. We out here preparing ourselves to the search of our fathers, man, and hopefully when your how about shit, man, how shot come back, man, he see us doing, man, and he see us doing, and he see us doing, and he see us doing, but if you ain't doing it, the Lord gonna get rid of your ass, man. And do it to the end, man. All right? But with that being said, call Halalim. Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. And to the hopeful elect. And do it. Shalom.